Hey guys, welcome back. So a lot of you have been asking me about the brewery and it's kind of finally in a place where I can show you. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of everything we had to do. Um, we bought the cat lady slash probably the hoarders house of the neighborhood. And that meant that there were stray cats living in the garage for the two years that it was vacant. And if you've ever smelled old cat pee, you know you don't want it in your beer. So, as you can see here, we had to rip out all the cabinets, everything, paneling. Okay, so I got a house and this is the garage. This place was built in the 50s and probably for the past 10 years, stray cats have been living in this garage. So, I get to demo out all of this. There's this stuff called urine destroyer that I had to spray like four times everywhere to finally get it to kind of not smell like cat pee. Honestly, if you get your nose too close to the floor, it is definitely still there, but I'm just kind of hoping it goes away. I don't really know what else I can do. So the next step was to run water and power to the garage. We already had a single outlet, but that obviously wasn't going to run my entire electric brewery. So we ran 240 volt power and I've got basically a hose spigot right behind here. What else do we do? I insulated the back wall, some of the side wall. We've got more to do, but we ran out of plywood. Plywooded all the walls, painted it with epoxy, so it's pretty waterproof, and the steam isn't gonna completely destroy all this plywood that we so lovingly put up. Ugh, I hate it. Well, so do I, and I have to do it for work. All right, now fold your tabs out gently over the two by fours and stay full. Tabs? See the fold? This? Yep. Uh, I have fiberglass in my eyeballs. Told you. Insulation! Said no one ever doing insulation. <laughs> Baby, move your ladder before you hurt yourself. Now it's out formaldehyde. <laughs> doing the God's work. I'm just saying that because I'm doing what you don't want to do. Remember this one? Yep. And uh, you can go a little higher. But remember this one's got to be slightly angled, so put it in. Like this? No. This? But come away from the edge. Yep. Get it started straight and then bend it. Yep, now angle, angle, angle. Yep, now lean in with all your might and drive it. Good job. Yay. Hang your drill on your shorts. Hang your drill on your shorts. How? There's a drill hook. Hang it on your pocket, hang it on your, yep. Check levility. Check levility? Levelness. Plum. Levility. Just make a little line down at the bottom. Yeah, boom, somewhere in there. Boom, go, go, go. Well, you could do it a little longer so you could see. Well, isn't that where I'm going to put the screw? Yeah, but then it's easier to line it up later on your next one. There you go. It's ink free, kid. Ah, oh, I wasn't recording. Take it down. Yeah, 
Fuck that screw. Fuck that screw. Fuck that marker. <laughs> Same thing. Nope. Nope. Not easy. Really? Uh -huh. One more. Oh, you all right? <laughs> That's going in the bloopers. Ow! Fuck yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> Man, good thing my elbows are hard. I found a lemon in my garage. How is there so much more stuff? So I'll give you guys a tour. I'm really excited. I still have tons of work to do in here, like probably months worth, but everything's kind of where it's gonna live except for what you can't see behind the camera because that is still a nightmare. Okay, so we obviously only got to half that wall. I've got this table, it's now on wheels. So it can just go anywhere. And my husband still thinks he's gonna park his truck in the garage, which I don't feel great about, but he has that option because I can move my table now, thanks to him putting wheels on it. We've got our brewing station. So I've got the 240 volt right there. This is going to be the new brewing table. This as usual is my prep table. We've got our glycol stand. I actually have a beer going in this and it is brewing an ale very cold. I've got my kegs general everything. This is all going to have to get reorganized kegerator of course by the door because you need quick access and the best part is this stack of things i've got some real awesome stuff happening and let me just tell you what has made this entire thing possible this new sparkling water hop water i am obsessed with this stuff I can't drink when I'm working or I get very sleepy. And this is actually the only thing keeping me going. So while I crack open a cold one, I'll tell you a little bit more about what is to come. I really love this stuff. It just tastes like a not very sweet IPA. This is the original flavor and quite good. In the three boxes you just saw, besides my hot water box, which is just my treat box, essentially, I have acquired two really amazing pieces of equipment. So in one box is, as many of you know, a 20 gallon claw hammer system. So this is why we ran the 240 volt power and it's gonna go live right there next to the 240 outlet. To go along with this, I got a 
14 gallon brew built fermenter. I haven't put it together yet. Obviously it's still in the box. I literally just moved it in here from my dining room and I've got, I'll show you guys how I set up both things. And then I've also got a beer maker, which I don't know where that's going to live yet, but uh, it's basically an all-in-one system kind of situation. Um, and it brews a gallon at a time. So great for tests and it's really easy. You just kind of set it and forget it. It's like the easy bake oven of brewing. I promise you guys, I wasn't just sitting around eating bonbons this entire time when I haven't really been posting. It's, been a slog and way more construction than I'm used to doing. I go to bed at eight o'clock every night now. Uh, it's my new schedule. It's pretty great. So if you guys have any fun ways you organize your brewery, any shelving ideas you guys like, or just random plate like ways you organize your hoses, equipment, whatever, I am definitely looking for advice because I don't think what I was doing in the apartment is going to fly anymore. And now I have essentially like twice the space. So there's a lot of opportunity here and I'm just going to have to drink a lot of coffee and a lot of these hop waters to get through it. Well, hopefully the next time I see you guys, I'm actually brewing in here and I'll keep you updated on what I'm doing in here. I just kind of set the camera up and film myself being ridiculous like when I flew backwards from trying to pull a nail. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around in my absence. I really appreciate it. It has been very strange moving. It's been a very long time since I've done that, but it's going. It's going. If you guys want my videos early, all the stuff, bonus content, I am, I've got a Patreon going. There is a podcast I'm putting out now as well. It's called Brewing After Hours with Sarah Flory. You can find it literally everywhere. Just check it out. I've got a lot of awesome interviews and fun beer stories. And I'll see you guys next time.